this is a bit of a strange thing to me, but I feel like I want to make a video about it because it has been true in my experience for a really long time. Generally speaking, vegans are the most angry people in the comments on my videos that I have ever seen. And of course, they only really come out when I make a video that talks about food that doesn't specifically say everyone should be vegan. Now, personally, I don't think that humanity is at a point to being able to completely let go of eating animal products. And I don't think that that's necessarily even the best way to go. I've personally tried being vegan before. And at first, for the first like four months, it was amazing. I really cleaned up my body. I felt a lot of healing. I felt really good. But after a while, I found that I was eating so much and was consistently unsatiated. And I would even be supplementing with all kinds of different like protein powders and different kinds of things. And it still was having, like I was having this effect of being really imbalanced in my body and like always hungry, but then always eating and not feeling all right. This was back in like 2017, 2018. I ended up having a piece of chicken at my parents' place and it immediately satisfied the craving that my body was seeking. And I was like, okay, well then maybe I should be an omnivore. I went like that for another year or so. And then I started to do research as I was starting Spirit Mysteries, the original version of the Spirit Science Mystery School. And I started learning about how all of these ancient mystic teachings all said pretty much the same thing from like the ancient Egyptian and Greek mystery schools to the mystics of India and all of the lineages that have come out of there. They all said a vegetarian diet for a spiritual person is the way to go. And so when we launched Spirit Mysteries, I actually did a class about this and I made this commitment that I was going to practice being vegetarian. And from that point, I've pretty much not gone back. There have been a few times where I've made exceptions and I've tried some meat here and there and sometimes it was okay and sometimes it wasn't and the quality is such a big thing. And I would never try and really get down on myself about it because life is this very interesting mix of experience and it's really important not to get so attached and caught up on the small details as we're figuring ourselves out in the journey that we're going through. But we also need to experiment with ourselves to find out what makes sense for us, what's the best path, what way we should be eating and living and practicing and treating others, the words that we use, everything. We're in a constant state of refining ourselves and breaking ourselves down at the same time. And so this was really interesting to me because then, you know, we did this movie once called Healing with Food, the movie, and it was, a, it was more of a pro-vegan side of things. This was when I was really looking at a lot of the research that overeating a lot of animal products and especially processed sugar and other processed foods were causing a lot of issues in the collective human body of consciousness. That a lot of sicknesses and diseases that we have today come from breaking the laws of harmony, especially as it relates to food. It also relates to our broken belief systems or disconnection from the soul or following spiritual paths that are ultimately superficial. All of these things trickle down into the way that we live our lives physically. But yet, ever since that movie was made, you know, again, I've gone through my own journey of exploring and discussing with myself and others and, and then making videos about different ways of eating. Is it right to eat meat or, or, or vegetarian or vegan? Or should we be eating fish? Probably not, they're all poisoned. But whenever I do talk about anything that is food related, I often find that vegans are the most angry and they are really mad. Like, like even when I did the video talking about what's going on with Israel and Palestine, that, you know, definitely generated some frustration, but nothing in comparison to like when we talked about being vegetarian. <laughs> and, and I have just been shocked by this because one might think or presume that one who's following a vegan path is much more earth-centered and connected to the planet and connected to their own spiritual practices. And in that, maybe having a sense of understanding and compassion for other people and where they're at. And I know that this isn't a general statement. I can't say all vegans are really angry. That's not what I'm trying to say here. But it's so interesting to me that there's such a level of sensitivity there. Now, of course, I have to acknowledge and we all have to see that there's a very good reason for that frustration. And I'm not trying to say that this is 
not a big issue. Vegans are predominantly angry because there is this huge mistreatment of animals across the board, whether it's in the factory farms that are slot like the slaughterhouses and the raising of those animals or the treatment of dairy cows and the treatment of chickens and all of it. It's terrible. It's terrifying. It's, it's a literal modern day Holocaust that is taking place to these animals that is not being addressed. And I know that is a very sharp thing to say, but there's truth in it. Because if you treated humans that way, we would say this is akin to Nazi Germany. Something needs to be done. And I'm with everybody out there who expresses frustration towards the factory farming or animal farming systems. This needs to change. At the same time, I believe there is a healthy and harmonious middle ground, at least in my experience, and I think where humanity is right now, because we are still moving from a state of very dense matter-based consciousness into a more energetic reality. And we are just at the beginning of a very long cycle. You know, this whole movement of the age of Aquarius, we're, we're barely scratching the surface on entering the age of Aquarius. And this is gonna go for 2000 years. There's a lot of changes that are coming and we are laying a foundation right now through the internet technology that we've developed to raise awareness and global consciousness about harmonious ways of living and how to be in alignment with nature, ourselves, and God. And of course, nature, ourselves, all a part of God, God being the everything and all that is, and the Supreme Spirit, the unified field from which everything arises. So with that said, I would like to see massive change happening. But in the meantime, my recommendation for anyone, no matter how you're eating, one is do your research on where your food comes from. I seriously do not recommend eating fish or pork. There's very good reasons for it. And if you want to learn why, please watch the shorts. Actually, I'll link them right here or here. I don't know how the video is going to show up. But in addition to that, really find out where your food is coming from. Do not buy general mainstream meat or eggs or dairy. Get it from a local source at the highest quality that you can. You will feel better in your body if you clean up the food that you're eating. Also, if you wanna go further on healing your body, please download the 10 Steps to Healing Your Body and Mind workbook and worksheet that I just created. You can find a link in the description. We have a download on our new website, Spirit Science Academy, and I trust that it's going to serve you in continuing to refine and work on yourself in a way that is really meaningful and supportive to your personal and spiritual evolution. And lastly, if you are one of those people who have been watching these videos or just are a notoriously angry vegan out there, please know, first, I love you so much. And I wanna invite you to have compassion. In fact, I wanna invite everybody watching to have compassion for the state of humanity and where we're at. Again, we are coming out of a state of illusion into a higher frame of consciousness, a higher mindset of existence. But there's a lot of belief systems and habits that we have to overcome. And food is one of the biggest ones. It's so difficult to talk about food because anytime you make a suggestion of why don't you change your diet? Have you considered what you're eating might be poisoning you? A lot of people are so attached to their diet and the way that they eat that they get triggered and angry in the suggestion process. So please be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others. At the end of the day, the best way to raise consciousness is going to be to raise your own consciousness, to live your life the way that you want to live, be an expression of your soul, and be a shining example of what's possible when you live every day in virtue and service and humility. So thank you so much for watching. God bless and have a beautiful day.